Hey friends, you may know Jared and I from our fantasy baseball podcast, Skippers, but that is not all we do here at Owners Box. We are very excited to announce our weekly fantasy baseball game. I'm pumped. I'm excited. You guys are going to absolutely love this game. We can finally show you. People have been asking, what do you guys actually do for a living? Well, we're about to show you. So let's play the video. Daily Fantasy Sports gives you a quick hit, but is dominated by the pros. Season-long fantasy starts out fun, but suffer a key injury and it becomes a marathon. Owner's Box wants to give you a new way to play. Weekly Fantasy, providing you with the best of both worlds. Win big by managing your team over seven days of intense competition. With Owner's Box, strategy and sports knowledge have more impact than ever. Adding and dropping players at the right time can be the difference between defeat and victory. Brand your teams, talk some smack, and rank up the leaderboard. Our new way to play will ensure your fantasy sports experience is always fresh and in your control. So, as you can tell, the game is exciting. It's it's new. It's innovative. I mean, I'm pumped up. Yeah. And we talk about the difference between daily, season long, and now we're coming in with weekly fantasy sports. Yeah. This is not an alter, or this is not. We're not asking you to change. Yes. Right. You can play season long. We play season long. You guys have seen. We play season long. Season long is fun. We know it's fun. But this is an addition to it. We play weekly all the time. It's just a good fun game mode to go along with your regular season longs. Yeah. I think we talk about like season long. Like everyone loves season long. But the good thing about weekly and adding that to your portfolio is the it's seven days a week. You get paid the seventh day of your contest. The worst thing is is when you're in season long and you're leading for the entire year. And the, the MLB season is so long. You get paid out so late. And that's why I love like I love playing owner's box. Or you're in last place. You have no hope. <laughs> you need to be making money somehow to pay for all your league fees that you're coming in last. And you need to play. But daily... Daily's hard, right? You're playing against Sharks. You're playing against Spreadsheet Warriors. That's not what you have here. We're trying to take the luck out of it. And it's just... More fun game mode. More skill base, right? Like daily, like you go in, you you build your lineup for the day. Anything can happen in a day. But with owner's box, right? It's seven days, right? You manage your lineup. And we're going to have this explainer video pop up very soon. And we're going to cue that. But so excited to show you this. The video is going to explain everything. So we just should just show them the video. Play the video. Owner's box tournament contests feature a unique lineup builder with larger prize pools. Tournaments support single and multi lineup contests with user entries from 3 to 100,000. Select the 10 best players while staying within the salary cap and positional game limits. Exceeding the game limit by position while remaining within the salary cap results in a best ball scenario for that position. As the week progresses, moves can be made, but have a drop fee of 20% of the player's remaining salary. Manage the lineup over seven game days and finish in the payout zone. All right, now that you have the base information, I'm here to go more in depth. You need to build a 10 player roster while staying within the salary cap and game limits. If you go over game limits, you trigger best ball. As games are played, salary and game ops are consumed. Swap the players as you want. If they're injured, if they're not playing, you're able to swap. You don't have to stay with your same team the whole contest. But you accumulate your points over seven days, the highest possible number of points, you win the most amount of money. Yep. So see the prize section for the payout schedule contest. Players not in your starting lineup will not consume game ops. If they pinch hit, they will also not consume game ops. You have five infield slots for 28 games during the week, three outfield slots for 17 games, two pitching slots for three games, $200,000 salary cap, and a 20% swap fee. Our scoring system is a modified point system. Getting more points, you get like three points for singles, three points for walks, three hit by pitch, six for doubles, nine for triples, so on and so forth. Just a little more points than your normal uh, season long leagues. Also, 28% of players get paid out, one of the highest in the industry. Who doesn't like that? This is, this is the big sort of difference that we want. More people get paid out on owner's box, which is obviously a huge asset for anyone trying to play in the fantasy sports industry. But that's like, you know, like you have these sharks, they come in, they win. Like, I'm never getting paid as the average Joe. They're, yeah, they're putting in a lot of money for that. Yeah, so at owner's box, right, you're getting paid. And right now, we're... We're running $1,000 contests every day, and we're giving you guys free promo code. Yep. So you guys, we want you. We need you. As the Skipper's host, we're asking you, because we work for Owner's Box, <laughs> to play. But we don't just want you guys to play. We want you guys to have fun. We want you to give yeah, feedback. We want you guys to win, too. We want you guys to win. We're we, giving you money. We're here to help you. Um, so, you know, like, 
message us talk about us. let's talk some lineups let's talk some players who's overvalued who's undervalued that's like that's Avery's a nice job. Yeah, we need to figure out the players who are good. We yell at our status updaters sometimes. We yell at the guys who make the salaries. That's what we do here, that's, right? That's what we do. We love talking fantasy baseball. And the code is MLB10, right? Put that in, make your lineup, and just try our game. We're telling you to try it because I'm telling you, you are going to like gonna it. You're going to like it. There's, if you need help, message us. We will answer any questions that you have, too. But let's talk about some strategy, Jeremy. Yes. So for your players, how do you like to construct your roster? Usually when I'm in the lineup editor and I'm, I'm building my lineup, I'm looking at, first thing I do is look at who can I get at the lowest cost. Yes. So I'm going filtering by minimum. I go salary per game. I go to the bottom and I see, okay, who's a steal this week? Who do I think has the potential to outperform that minimum cost? Um, so I usually go infield, outfield. Even pitcher, because a ten thousand is the minimum for pitcher. Sometimes you can get a steal down there for one start. Sometimes those guys aren't paying attention over there. And we yes. need to take advantage. Take of them. advantage. Take advantage. There's like Logan Gilbert was down there forever when he was having those good starts. Patrick Sandoval, guys that are low too, right? Yes. Yeah, so you look at rookies coming to the league, right? Like you could you could take advantage of your expertise in baseball to pick those guys, and that's how I kind of start my base to my team. I get the I get the very low price players, and then I start to build up. You know, then I'll start to get my Vladdy. Then yeah. I'll start to get my Juan Soto, my Kyle Tucker. But that's sort of my strategy. And I usually, how I do it is I don't force a two-game pitcher game if because you, you get three game ops for pitchers, right? So usually you think, I'm going to get a pitcher who throws twice and someone who throws once. But if you go two pitchers, yep. they throw once, you don't pay a swap fee once he throws. So you let him throw. And then you swap them for no swap fee, and you just leave that little extra salary yeah. in your lineup. Make sure you take that into account, though. You don't want to have only two pitcher games. I've seen people, if your two pitchers do poorly, and you're like, oh, no, I need to get four pitching game ops, you can change around your roster, too. That's not a, as normal a strategy for some people, I'd say, right? But mm -hmm. it's a strategy you can use. It's, I, it's the best ball, right? It's like, so Owner's Box has best ball. So if you go... Take your best games out of the... 28 or 17 or three game ops so if i get kyle hendricks and he has a minus 27 point game it's most likely i'm going to make a couple swaps to get another that fourth game pitching op so kyle hendricks game doesn't count exactly and when we're looking at players that you want to take from your types of players it's a points league so you get negative points for strikeouts how mm -hmm. do you like to do this I don't look too far into the strikeouts. I, I do like power hitters. I'm a big power hitter like guy, too. The home runs, yeah, I it's like 18 points for yeah. a home run. Um, you know, Looking at guys like Aaron Judd, Joey Gallo, those are guys I like targeting. Uh, like Fran Mill Reyes. Yes. Jorge Soler, who's been hot of late. I feel like when you get down to the lower price guys, I'm looking for power, es yeah. especially. Because if they're going to get a lot of points... I'd rather need RBIs, which the truth is, is someone that's very low probably isn't getting you many ribbies yeah. hitting in the eight spot. So I'm looking for power in the bottom, but at the top, I don't care. Like Kyle Tucker isn't a guy who's going to hit you three home runs in the game, yeah. right? He's going to hit you. He's going to go like three for five, have two RBIs. Um, but that's pretty much my strategy. I look at power for lower price guys, but for higher price guys, more of just the feel and the in the matchups yeah getting on base stealing some bases but i like that please guys try the new weekly salary cap game we think you'll love it man that's why we're here like let us know what you think what you like about it what you don't like about what it what you don't like about it like we're here to make this game like this this is here to stay we want you guys to play this is for just everyone who loves fantasy baseball grow with us yes grow with us check out the game mlb 10 is the promo code owner's box weekly fantasy sports